Hello students. In previous lecture, we have studied the concept of Fourier transform, its magnitude spectrum and its phase spectrum. Let us solve an example in this video. So x of t is equal to e raised to minus 3 t u of t. Okay. We have Fourier transform equation. x of omega is equal to integration or minus infinity to plus infinity x of t e raised to minus j omega t or dt. Abhi yaha par ye jo equation x of t is equal to e raised to minus 3t u of t. How to find the limit of integration? Ye x of t ke place mein hume put karna hai. Okay. So, by putting given x of t, so this becomes e raised to minus 3t, u of t, we'll put this in bracket and the term in the equation itself is e raised to minus j omega t dt. So, presence of u of t, kuch kah raha hai, kya kah raha hai? Ki u of t starts at 0. So, we have this unit step function. Okay, it is 1. Where it is 1? So, it is 0. t equal to 0, it is 1. And where it ends? So, infinity. So, u of t ka jo range hai, jo time range hai, so it is 0 to infinity. So, therefore, ye pure signal ka jo range hai, so that is 0 to infinity. So, automatically when we multiply any signal with unit step function, to uska time range ho jata hai 0 to infinity. Okay? Because it is u of plus t hai. Agar minus t hota to 0 to minus infinity hota. So, let us substitute this limit and proceed so it is 0 to plus infinity e raised to minus 3t remaining. Okay, we have removed u of t because u of t is 1 and because of presence of u of t gamma, limit jo hai iska change ho gaya. Hamne multiply kiya e raised to minus 3t u of t ko aur e jo part tha iska wo truncate ho gaya aur iska limit change ho gaya e raised to minus 3t and the second term is minus j omega t dt. Okay. Abhi, so we have to simplify this. P case simplify yoga by using e raised to ax into e raised to bx. So this becomes e raised to a plus bx. Okay. ये रिलेशन को यूज करके हम इसे सिंपलीफाई करेंगे x of omega becomes so it is 0 over plus infinity so e raised to minus 3 plus j omega t dt ok we will find the integration of this so how to find the uh, integration of this by using relation integration of e raised to ax dx kya aega? e raised to ax divided by coefficient of x a to yaha pe kya coefficient hai yaha par hai coefficient 3 plus j omega ok with its negative sign so integration iska le lenge direct to ye aega e raised to minus 3 sorry e raised to minus 3 plus j omega t or t ka coefficient is ke niche so to minus 3 plus j omega ok Abhi. so it is 0 to plus infinity ok let us substitute the limit so e raised to minus 3 plus j omega infinity upper limit rakh diya minus e raised to minus 
3 plus j omega 0 and whole divided by this minus 3 plus j omega. So this is our solution after putting the limit. The next step may have x of omega. So it is e raised to minus 3 plus j omega infinity. What is the minus infinity? Or e raised to 0 divided by minus 3 plus j omega. Our denominator tha, as it is. Abhi what is e raised to infinity? Generally e raised to infinity is a big term. Because positive infinity is always very big term. So it is taken as infinity. But e raised to minus infinity jo hai, it is very very small. Okay. Therefore it is generally taken as 0. So this x of omega becomes. So it is 0 minus 1. Okay. So we have e raised to 0 is equal to 1. So it is 0 minus 1 divided by minus 3 plus j omega and we have x of omega is equal to plus 3 plus j omega. Ye hamara Fourier transform aagaya. So x of omega is equal to 3 plus j omega is Fourier transform. Now let us simplify this. Isko simplify kaise karenge hum? Because we have to find magnitude of this. Usse pahle se simplify karenge. Hamara x of omega hai 1 divided by 3 plus j omega. Agar mai isse cross multiply karunga 3 minus j omega se divide and multiply it by 3 minus j omega. So this becomes 3 minus j omega three minus j omega divided by three plus j omega other bracket mein three minus j omega okay abhi kya hoga three minus j omega divided by abhi a plus b a minus b kya aega? so a square minus b square so i will write here a plus b a minus b is equal to a square minus b square use kar rahe. So, we will get x of omega is equal to 3 minus, I am writing here. So, 3 minus j omega divided by, so 3 square minus j omega square. So, this becomes 3 minus j omega divided by 9 minus j square omega square ok now j, j is equal to square root of minus 1 j is an it is the imaginary term and it is equal to square root of minus 1 so j square equal to minus 1 if you substitute here this will become plus so we have finally x of omega is equal to 3 minus j omega divided by 9 plus omega square. Okay. j square put karne ke baat kya hua? Plus ho gaya. 9 plus omega square a gaya iska. Hum isko split karke likhenge. 3 by 9 plus omega square minus j omega divided by 9 plus omega square. Okay. Abhi dekhiye. This x of omega is a complex term. अभी किस फॉर्म में आ गए? So it is x i x r of omega minus j x i of omega ये फॉर्म में आ गया है। मतलब ये जो है, so this one is real part है। इसके अंदर जो है, ये जो part है first part। So this part is what real part? 
and this part is imaginary part because of this humne se complex kaha tha okay so let us find the magnitude of x of omega magnitude find karenge we have relation for finding the magnitude magnitude ko humne aise likha tha magnitude of x of omega is equal to square root of real part jo hai omega ka uska square plus imaginary part of omega square okay and uh, we can write as a take real part from that equation or hamare paas a 3 divided by 9 plus omega square okay ye whole square aayega iska we'll take whole square plus so it is j ka coefficient hai omega divided by 9 plus omega square iska whole square hai so this becomes so this becomes 9 square root of 3 ka kya square hai 9 and this is 9 plus omega square isko aise likhenge hum plus omega square divided by 9 plus omega square okay so denominators are same so we can write this as 9 plus omega square divided by 9 plus omega square okay abhi ek term ko hum do bar likh likh sakte hain agar humne isko do bar likha so what will remain in the square root so 9 plus omega square divided by 9 plus omega square and 9 plus omega square so this 9 plus omega square will cancel with this and the remaining term is square root of remaining term is square root of so it is 1 divided by 9 plus omega square so we can simplify this as so 1 ka square root 1 aa gaya so it is square root of 1 divided by square root of 9 plus omega square so this is our magnitude of x of omega square okay now let us take different values of omega omega ke values humne agar put kiye to hame milega magnitude of x of omega ka ek value milega let us find it so for omega equal to 0 magnitude of x of omega becomes 1 by square root of 9 square plus 0 omega ke value humne 0 liya to it is 1 divided by 3 and it is equal to 0.333 something okay so omega equal to 1 magnitude of x of omega will get 1 divided by so it is 9 square sorry it's not 9 square it is 9 only and uh, this is also 9 okay so it is 9 plus 1 1 square 1 so we'll get 1 divided by square root of 10 and it is equal to 0.31 something okay 316 aayega omega is equal to 2 magnitude of x of omega so it is 1 divided by 9 plus 2 ka square 4 and it is 1 divided by square root of 13 and we'll get 0.27 okay for omega equal to 3 we'll get x of omega magnitude 
1 divided by 9 plus 3 ka square 9 and it is 1 divided by square root of 18 which is equal to 0.23 okay and omega is equal to 4 magnitude of x of omega is equal to 1 divided by square root of 9 plus 4 ka square so it is 16 and it is 1 divided by square root of 25 so it is 1 divided by square root of 25 which is equal to 0 0.2 let us plot magnitude spectrum so it is magnitude versus omega So we are drawing approximate plot of magnitude versus omega. So it is magnitude of x of omega axis and it is the negative frequency minus omega. Later we will discuss about the why we take the negative frequencies in calculation of frequency responses. Okay. So maximum magnitude we have is 0 0.33 and it goes on decreasing as the value of omega increases let us say second value is 0.27 or ye hai 0.2 so what will be the graph so par jo hai ye when it is the omega equal to 0 so we have received we have got maximum value for magnitude of x of omega or ye hai first point is ka. we are not drawing lines here because it is the continuous time fourier transform this means the fourier spectrum jo hai, we have to represent in a continuous way just we are uh, locating the dots for one two three and four so it is symmetrical about the vertical axis because it is E1 function and we are plotting it for sinusoidal component and this is for cosinusoidal component. Okay, later I will show you why we are considering the negative frequencies. So if you go for approximate values for 1, so it is less than this. So I am plotting the approximate and for 2 again it is less we can take the exact values of this and for 2 it is 2 and for this it is somewhat higher and uh, on this side just locate the same points at same height heights this is second point or minus 2 omega equal to minus 3 and it is 2 if you join these points will get the approximate frequency spectrum say this it is a single line because with double line it will send a different message so what we have the outcome of the Fourier transform. A graph ke under konsi frequency ko omega is frequency in radian per second. Ab ye konsi frequency ko kitna amplitude hai uska. Konsi frequency predominant hai. Okay. So it is for omega zero it's a maximum and it goes on decreasing. Ek signal alag alag frequencies se bana hua hai. Okay. So there is a range of frequencies which exist in a single signal and it is given by the magnitude spectrum. 